Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. I'm with Oculus Rift Reviews. Today we're going to review and play Internal Light VR, a game by Hot Dog Studios released on the Steam Store on January 18, 2018 for the HTC Vive and the Oculus Rift. It normally retails for $4.99. I got it on a Steam sale for $3.74. And I do recommend this game, but I think some of the reviews I read in the Steam store are exaggerating how good this game is. I'm going to give this game a 6 out of 10. I think there was just enough there as far as enjoyable gameplay to recommend it. But there were also some very big negatives that made this game less than pleasant for me personally. Uh, the first thing, and you can notice this on, on the video... Uh, is how dark it is and I don't know of any way to fix that but uh, it's not as dark as it looks on the desktop video that I'm recording here on the headset I could see a better than what I'm seeing on the desktop video but it was still pretty difficult to see in this game uh, certain areas were just too dark and the problem with that is is that when there was light you could tell that you know the graphics just weren't very good and it just looks worse when it's just dark the poor textures poor lighting just gamut of video issues exist in this game that just make it a very ugly game to look at for the most part there's not very many pretty scenes in fact i would say this is one of the ugliest games that I'm recommending ever on Steam VR. I don't recall another game that, that looked this ugly that, that I'm recommending it. Just the visuals are really poor all around. And I'm not a type of person who believes that visuals are the end all be all of gaming. But when something is this unpleasant to look at, it is a reason to knock it down. And I am knocking this game down because it's just unpleasant to look at. Um, there's there's nothing pleasant about any of the visuals here. The the game where there's the game level designs, the, the textures, the models, the 3D models, or the lighting. It's it's all bad here. Uh, the sounds are also not very good. <laughs> you can't really tell where sounds are really coming from. Uh, whatever. However, the saving grace for this game is that it's actually fun to play this game uh the puzzles are, are, are a little too easy this feels more like a walking simulator to me than a true puzzle or escape room just because i didn't find any challenge in any of the puzzles it took me around 35 minutes to finish this game and i was surprised by that because some people were saying this game is an hour long and i honestly don't see how you can take an hour in this game because the puzzles are just really easy the hardest part about the puzzles is just the physical execution of them. Um, I didn't find them mentally challenging at all. It's just some, like you noticed early on, I was high up and I was having to traverse these wooden planks. And it's the locomotion that just really made that difficult. Here, you don't have uh, free locomotion. You don't have teleportation. What you have is kind of like an arm swinger or an arm grabber is probably the better term for it. Basically what you do is you put your motion controller forward, you press A or X on your motion controllers, and then you pull yourself to the direction that you wanna go. Uh, there is snap turning as well, uh, but I didn't see any options as far as the gameplay uh, to improve the visuals or for performance issues. I didn't notice any of that. The interactions are a little on the clunky side. You basically just highlight items and pick them up. But, uh, and this minor spoiler here, this game starts with you chained to this, I guess, bed. And part of the puzzle there is that you do have to strike the hammer to your handcuffs or your chains. And even that, was just a little too clunky there there's other interactions just like that so the interactions overall are, are very clunky now what saves this game again is that there is like this adventure atmosphere to this game and you do feel like you're actually escaping this this area there's spotlights you have to avoid there's these traps so you really do get a sense of adventure from this game so that's why i'm recommending it i'm going to six out of ten thank you for watching have a wonderful day
Goodbye.